So, um, our, uh, our next guest is Carolyn. She has asked to not look at you. Uh, so we're not gonna look at you for a while. I probably will, because like, I love you guys, but you know. <laughs> no, um, but so uh, basically just to, to put the framing around it, I met Carolyn five minutes ago. She asked if this would be okay, I said yes. And she's from Long Beach. That's how much conversation we've had. So there you go. We good? That's yeah, about right? That's yeah, right. that's about right. Okay, cool. Oh. So, why are you here? <laughs> I knew you were going to say that. Um, well, the way it happened is I was putting that vibe out there that I needed to go out of my comfort zone. Mm -hmm. And my comfort zone is being at home, crocheting by myself. I'm a total introvert. Right. I don't like to be in front of crowds. If there's more than two people in the room or if there's two people sitting here, I, I won't say anything. Right. So I was putting the vibe out there. Okay, I got to get out of my comfort zone. So I was asked to teach at a yarn store students um, my skill. So I thought, okay, this is my chance. I got to get out of my comfort zone. So I did it, right. and I loved it. Right. And that was on Sunday. Okay. And then on Monday, which was this week, yeah. I had a call from my cousin, and, and she says, I had this opportunity for you to meet this guy. He's a coach. Um, you would be in front of, like, 50 people talking to him and being filmed. And I was like, oh, no, I can't do that. <laughs> That is like way beyond my scope of doing anything like that. And she's like, well, then that's what you need to do. And I'm like, you and know you what? You're that? right. <laughs> yes, I did. I'm like, you know what? Because I kind of proved it to myself the day before by, by teaching yeah. that class. Yeah. And I was only supposed to have two students. So I'm like, oh, I can handle two students. Right. I had six. So I couldn't sleep for two days before going into that, teach that class of six people. Um, but... Um, after the class was, you know, going and all that, then, you know, I, I was comfortable going in. Once I got to the yarn shop, I was fine. But just leading up to getting there, it was like, I was pretty scared. Yeah. Now, but, I noticed you were up with David checking the lighting. I assume he was checking the lighting or something. He, not he, the lighting, just oh, the feel I was getting. Feel. Oh, okay. I wanted to feel up here, like, how okay. does it feel and how does it look? Right. And, and how was that? Good. Okay. Yeah, I felt, I felt comfortable. Okay, cool. But so, I feel rude. I'm sorry if I'm not facing this audience. Yeah, well, um, fuck them. <laughs> <laughs> not, nothing personal. All right, here we go. <laughs> you know, <I> mean, <laughs> okay. So, nice. so, now, what, what would be, I, I mean, I, I'm sort of making up that you'd like to, be comfortable in front of groups. But, I, I would. Right. But is, is, is that what you'd like to get out of our time together? Or, or is it something more than that or something different to that? It, like, like it's, your, it's your time. So what, what would be great for you? Um, I think just starting there and see where we go. Oh. Um, my right. career has changed, and now I'm a crochet designer. Right. And uh, what that means is now for me is teaching going to conferences with yeah. large, like 600 people talking on a microphone, oh, yeah. <laughs> just can't do it. Yeah. So I kind of stepped back my role from being involved in the conference because of that. And I don't yeah. want to do that. Now, are, are, are you aware of the difference between doing something and thinking about it? No. So you told me that for two days before talking to people about yarn, Mm -hmm, forgive mm -hmm, me right. for, for encapsulating okay. your life's work in that. But, but that you couldn't sleep, but right. that when you were actually doing it, you were fine. Yeah. So thinking about it sounds like it was hell. Yeah. Doing it sounds like it was kind of fun. It was fun. Right. So thinking about talking to 600 people on a microphone, <laughs> you vomit in your mouth a little, right? Or whatever. But you have no idea what it would be like to do it. That's just that's true. true. Yeah, right? that's true. You, you stepped up here and you kind of got a nice vibe. Mm -hmm. Thinking about looking at them freaks you out. Yeah. So it sounds like you've got a thinking problem. Right? Okay. Like, like you may or may not have a doing problem. I haven't heard evidence of mm -hmm. it yet. Mm -hmm. but, but you have some really compelling, real seeming thinking I, about, what it will be, about what it'll be like. <laughs> I do. Yeah. 
so what, what, what do you make of that? Like, what do you, specifically, because this is the bit that really intrigues me, and you are not, the reason I'm asking it is because I've seen it so many times in so many different contexts. Like, what do you make of the fact that you could worry yourself sick mm -hmm. about something, the doing of which was actually really lovely? Have you ever I, I would be surprised yeah. if I hadn't. I mean, we all have. <laughs> but, but in this moment, just looking at it fresh, mm -hmm. noticing, oh, that was thinking, that was doing. Mm -hmm. what, what, what do you make of it? I need to get out of my head. Okay. I need um, to, or I need to think of it of an, in a positive way instead of a negative way. Because isn't that, I'm, I'm, a, I'm thinking that I'm thinking it in a negative way, like it's going to be bad or they're not going to like me or I'm going to cuss or I'm going to say the wrong thing, or, you know, like that. Or, shall, shall I tell you why I'm not a fan of thinking about things in a positive way? Oh, yeah. Um, because that's just a different form of bullshit. Oh. Like, think about things negative. You might be right, you might be wrong. Think about things positive. You might be right, you might be wrong. I never thought of that. Like, it's a nicer lie. But I, I'm not sure that's a life strategy, getting better at lying to yourself. Mm. Like the, for me, I mean, you can, the, I'm, I'm not, literally I don't mind if that turns out to be perfect for you. But what if, what if it didn't matter what you think? Like what if some days you think really positive and then you go out and do your thing and other days you think really negative and then you go out and do your thing? Because I'm not aware that any amount of thinking can make or stop us from doing anything. That's true. I never thought of it like that. Yeah. Well, just so take a minute to think of it like that. <laughs> okay. It's pretty deep. It's different for me. Right. How different? How? Well, I was always putting a negative attachment with that, mm -hmm. and now I'm trying to to put a positive or excited or yeah. looking forward to it instead of the opposite. Right. So I don't know if I could not think about it before. Well, right. But see, that would be hard. <laughs> mm -hmm. But not caring what you think about it's not so hard. Like, if, it, 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 this is a weird analogy and I'm not sure if it quite makes sense, but have you ever been to like a, a bar or restaurant where they got TVs up? Yeah. Okay, and has, you know, has there ever been one where it's something you really don't want to watch that's up on the mm -hmm, TV? Mm -hmm. Right, okay. Now, you probably, and maybe you do, I don't know many people do, you, you probably don't feel like you can go up to them and say, could you turn that off? I don't do that. Right, <laughs> but you also probably don't make your entire time at the restaurant or bar about what's on the TV. No. Right? No. It's no different. You don't have to turn this off. Mm -hmm. You don't even have to change the channel. You just have to enjoy your drink or your meal. Even when something's on that you don't particularly like. Yeah. Like, you're not the TV. Right? You know, it's not the boss of you. <laughs> right. Right. Uh -huh. It is there. <laughs> it is on. Uh -huh. Absolutely. Now, would you, this just occurs to me, and, and it really is okay if this, if you don't want to do this, but I actually think you might like this. Mm -hmm. I, an experiment just occurred to me. Mm -hmm. Okay, and I'm going to tell, it, tell you the experiment. And you get to decide whether you want to do it. Okay. Okay. The experiment would be, you think about what it would be like to look over your shoulder at them. <laughs> you notice, we'll talk about what, you know, what comes up. Okay. Then you look over your shoulder at them and see what that's like. And then we come back and talk about it. Would that be, uh, uh, would you be up for that just as an experiment to see, again, the relationship between what you think and reality? That's fine. Yeah? I can already, I, okay, I'm already getting nervous. Cool. <laughs> you can tell. Well, no, that's what thought does, right? We I'm already freak, freaking out. We can freak ourselves out. Yeah. I we, we have this amazing gift. Yeah. <laughs> right? That we use against ourselves all day long. Right. But it won't be that bad. Well, I don't know. It might be worse. <laughs> <laughs> but the point is, we don't know. Unless we try. Unless we try. What do you think? On three? Okay. Shall we? <laughs> All right. Three, two, one. <laughs> All right. All right. All right. All right. How's that? It was good. <laughs>
Okay. <laughs> they were nice. They were nice. I know. <laughs> I know. Can we look at them some more? Can we check? <laughs> yeah. oh, he looks. He looks a little scary. <laughs> yeah. No, I know. I know. What do you think we should make up about that? You think he's out to get us? He's making a lot of notes. Yeah. Like yeah. I have yeah. a lot of problems or issues. So yeah. Was he writing? He also might be completely ignoring <laughs> us and like just doing his taxes. Or well, that's true. See, yeah. I didn't think of that. Yeah. Again, yeah. it's always about me. Yeah. You shouldn't do that. Well, you can do whatever the hell you want. You just don't have to listen. <laughs> right? <laughs> I mean, isn't it nuts? Yeah, like we do it. this all day long. We really think that what we think has some bearing on reality. Because mm -hmm. it, it, it's yeah. kind of like based on a true story. Like the characters look vaguely familiar. But it's all made up for better and for worse. Mm -hmm. And the funny thing is, human beings, it seems to me, do really well in reality. Like that's why when you sit with somebody, you're fine. Because that's real. Okay. That's not you sitting with your thinking. That's you exactly. sitting with a human. <clears throat> right? mm -hmm. The thought of these guys, oh man. I know. I, I, <laughs> I wasn't even going to come in, and I'm getting paid to be here. <laughs> <laughs> but the reality is, they're kind of all right. Yeah, they're yeah? What do you think? Nice. You, you have permission to have a little look at them some more? Oh, you want to turn around? Is that what you're trying to get me to do? Uh, uh, no, it's not what oh. I'm trying to get you to do. Feel comfortable doing it. I think that'd be neat. I think you'd like that. Okay. Right? But I'd kind of like us to have the experience of it. Okay. So we can compare it to what we've made up in our heads. Because mm. that's what I'm interested in. Mm -hmm. See, I don't ultimately have a stake in what you do in your life. I mean, if you want to sit at home and crochet, that sounds fun in your world. Mm -hmm. Like, I, it, that, that's fine. Mm -hmm. But it does sound to me like you want a little more than that. I do. So one step to that would be seeing again and again and again in a bunch of different ways. What's the relationship between what I make up and reality? Mm -hmm. So that, so the reason it's not like a trick. I'm mm -hmm. look how great I am. I made her turn around. Right, right. Right. It's actually let's just see what it's like, knowing full well that if it turns out to be shit, we can mm -hmm. turn back around. Mm -hmm. Yeah. We up for it? Okay. Let's do it. And we're just going to experience it, right? Okay. We're not, okay. we don't, that's it. It's not like, oh, I have conquered my fear. No, we're no. going to experience What is it like to look at these guys? What do you see? I see a lot of faces. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Any of them, any of them sort of jump out at you? Let's make them self-conscious. <laughs> <laughs> right? Like, why should, why, why should we be the only ones suffering yeah, up here? I know, right? right? Yeah. Like she's cracking the hell up. <laughs> yes, you looking over your shoulder to see who's cracking the hell up. Yeah. Like, no, but that's right. What 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 do you see out there? People. people. Lots of people. Yeah. Okay. Pick one. Just <gasps> Okay, I'll pick you with okay. the blue scarf. Blue scarf. Yeah. Oh, cool. Um, her name's Jill. 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 What, what uh, does she, you know? What, what Why do I pick her? Oh, I don't even know, but yeah, well, what do you see? You see a blue scarf. Yeah, I like her scarf. Yeah. I like her hair. Yeah, no, she's got <laughs> awesome hair. Yeah, my wife, my wife has kind of a girl crush on her, actually. Oh, really? Yeah. <laughs> Is it mutual? <laughs> nice. <laughs> nice. <laughs> Who else? Who else catches your eye? Well, I, I like Christy. I like her sweater. I think it's a really pretty color. Yeah. It stands out in the crowd. Yeah, it does. It does. But that's so I can find her because she's my security blanket. <laughs> <laughs> Mine too. <laughs> Already. <laughs> who else? Who else? Who else catches your eye? Oh. I don't know. No. I don't Should know. we turn back around? No. No. Okay. But I don't want to talk about them anymore. Okay. What do you want to talk about? I don't know. Well, what what would you 
like what what draws you given all the reasons you have for not talking to 600 people through the microphone mm -hmm. what draws you about it like what actually appeals to you about that well i think it would help me um move my business to the next level okay and promote me as the designer in the industry i'd be more prestige okay and get more jobs right and that you'd like that yeah 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 so what um like what kind of jobs would that open up for you what would... well um working with magazines writing a book uh, being on tv yeah. um yeah 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 it's a lot it is a lot now I'm gonna make a guess and you're gonna tell me if I'm guessing well, okay? Sometimes when you think about that, it sounds kind of cool. Mm -hmm. And sometimes when you think about that, it sounds freaky as hell. Yeah, terrifying. Okay. Mm -hmm. right. Now do you, I'm trying to think of the, the uh, I grew up on British news, so I'm trying to adapt to American news here, but like, what are like the two extreme news, newses here, like, like positions, yeah, who have very... CNN and Fox. Okay, cool. So, like, can you imagine, like, if there was, um, if 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 we were in a bar and there was Fox on one TV and CNN on the other, right? They could be covering the same story, mm -hmm. and it would be two completely different sets of headlines and stories Correct. on the screen. Mm -hmm. That's kind of us. Yeah. Like sometimes our thinking is CNN, and sometimes it's Fox, <laughs> right? Like yeah. sometimes it's it's. Uh, what a wonderful world, and, and sometimes it's life is short and then you die, <laughs> <laughs> right? Yeah. But neither of them are real. They're just points of view. Mm -hmm. They're just slants on reality. Sometimes not even very in touch with reality. Right? Sometimes more, sometimes less. But if you based your decisions on what you saw on the TV, does that strike you as a great life strategy? No. No, me neither. <clears throat> and yet, we're sort of conditioned to try and base our life choices on what's on the TV up here. Mm -hmm. And that just doesn't make any sense. Because it's not even on one channel, it's flicking between channels. Right. But, so what are you grounded? Like if, you, if you're not gonna base it on TV, if you're not gonna base it on what you happen to be thinking, mm -hmm. which you'll feel sometimes feels great and sometimes feels horrible, mm -hmm. right? Where, where do you sit? Like where do you find your solid ground? Mm, I'm not sure. What do, you, what do you mean? Well. Like how do I get grounded or how do I make my decisions or? Yeah, well, let's go with that. And it's, it's a genuine curious question, okay. right? It's not, I, I'm, I'm not um, something that you, you may or may not know about because I'm not Socratic. Like I'm not asking questions leading to the answer that mm -hmm, I want you to get mm -hmm, to. Mm -hmm. When I have a question, it's because I've been kind of curious about the answer. Okay. So it's like, so in a world where, and let's forget about you and me, like let's just say in a world where, mm -hmm. in, in a world where we can't count on our, internal television to guide our decision making. Mm -hmm. What would we, what can we trust? Our gut. Okay, that's it. So, so get, get, yeah, well, I mean, we can call it a lot okay. of things, but there is this other sense <laughs> we have, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. right? Okay. Right. There, so there is something that got you here today, despite the fact that the news stories weren't very positive. Right. Right, the <laughs> yeah. reporting was very biased. <laughs> Right? And honestly, exactly. I thought the actor they got to play me looked a lot like an ogre. Right? <laughs> no. That's just me. That's but, 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 but yet there was something in you that you trusted enough to come. Right? That's right. And there was something in you, and, and I'm making a little leap, but you'll correct me okay. if I'm inaccurate, mm -hmm. that knew that it would feel a little bit safer if you brought your daughter. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Had to bring my daughter. Cool. Yeah. So you can trust that. You've got that. Mm -hmm. You've got that wisdom in you. You've mm -hmm. got that inner sense of direction, mm -hmm. that inner knowing. Mm -hmm. And if I can make a way premature diagnosis based on the 17 minutes yep. I've known you, <laughs> right? Okay. I just think you've gotten in the habit of trying to guide your life by the news mm -hmm. and, and out of the habit of guiding your life by your knowing. Mm 
-hmm. And it's just not a recipe for a great life. Right. That's why I'm trying to change my, yeah. my path and my direction. Yeah. yeah. So what are you seeing just now, just from, from our little chat so far, what are, you, what are you seeing that you think actually will help you with that? Just being aware of my thoughts more. Whether it's positive or negative, yeah. And well, and, and, and to me, and, 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 and correct me again if this doesn't fit, it's not even being aware of your thoughts, it's being aware of your thoughts as thoughts. Mm -hmm. It doesn't matter what they are. It's like, is it, um, you know, wait, hang on, is this real or is this thought? Mm -hmm. Like, is this actually happening or is this happening in mm -hmm. my head? Mm -hmm. That's what I meant. Yeah, yeah, that's, yeah. I got that. Right. Yeah, yeah. I can't, right. Cool. Can't articulate no, no. it very well. <laughs> You're not. I, I'm the one whose job is to articulate. Oh, okay. Your job is just to have a great life. <laughs> All right. Like honestly, that's that's that's. You, you, I just was kind of checking that you. Meant, okay. That you meant the same thing. Yeah, about. I did. Yeah. That's what I meant. Like yeah. how how be aware of my thoughts, and making sure that if it's what's really happening or if it's something I'm making up in my head. Yeah. Yeah. To, yeah. To are, you, are you of a generation where you remember the commercial? Is it live or is it Memorex? Oh yeah. Yeah. <laughs> right. It's kind of like that. Yeah. Right. It's, 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 it's like, wow, it's so realistic, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. but it's not real. <laughs> okay. And that's thought. Like that's the nature of thought. Mm -hmm. Is it so realistic? Sometimes, I mean, sometimes there are weird dragons that visit us at night, but is that just for me? Uh, but, no. But, <laughs> My daughter just had that last night. Right, okay. She had a bad dream. <laughs> right? But, but a lot of the time, it does seem kind of real. It's like, mm -hmm. you know, oh, well, no, this might be real. Mm -hmm. This might actually be happening. But it, it never is. Because mm -hmm. it's, it's not that metier. It's not reality. Mm -hmm. And the funny thing is, we are made for reality. Like, human beings are designed yeah. to do really well in reality. Mm -hmm. We're not designed brilliantly to for la la land, mm -hmm. right? Like living in the moment. Is well, that what living, you're meaning? Or? Living in what is actually happening, as opposed to what I'm making up. Okay. So a friend of mine describes it like this, and I liked this description. He said human beings are really good at eating what's on their plate. They're really bad at eating what was on their plate yesterday, mm -hmm. and they're terrible at trying to eat what they think will be on their plate tomorrow. Mm -hmm. But whatever's on your plate right now, you're made for. Mm -hmm. right? Now, for me, I take so much comfort in knowing that. Because it means the only times that I'm freaking out are because I'm trying to eat tomorrow's plate. Okay. Like, I have, I'm like, my son is 25 now, but when he was about 21, he, um, he was home for the... I forget if it was Christmas holiday, spring holiday. Mm -hmm. And he, uh, I'm sure he comes off well in this story, but it's, it, <laughs> it, the story makes yeah. a point, okay. right? And uh, he, he said there was, there was this big party with all of his old school friends who were getting together for this big party. I, I, I said, oh, cool, are you going? He said, oh, I'm, I'm not going to go. Uh, and I said, why? And he said, well, I've kind of been seeing two girls, and they don't know about each other, and they're, <laughs> they're both, both going to be, be at the party. <laughs> they're like, oh, all right. And then that night, I saw him getting ready for the party. Hmm. And I was like, oh, you're going? And he said, yeah. And I said, oh, is one of the girls not coming? He said, no, they both are, but I figure that can be future Oliver's problem. Mm -hmm. oh. wow. And I was like, he gets wow. it, <laughs> right? Like he gets, mm -hmm. he can't do anything about that. Mm -hmm. But Let's if he's actually happens. in the room, actually we're pretty good in the room. Mm -hmm. We're all pretty good in the room. We're made to be pretty good in the room. Mm -hmm. You see what happens. You see what happens. Mm -hmm. and, and you don't lose the ability to turn your chair back around. Right? That's true. Like, it's, it's, you don't like it. You don't have to keep doing it. But at least you know that you don't like it, mm -hmm. not that you don't like the thought of it. Okay. Right? Right. And, and, and I promise you, and this is based on 30 years of working with people, right? Nobody is really held back in their life by reality. I mean, reality does what it does. I mean, we don't all get what we want or mm -hmm. anything like that. But, but we're only ever held back by thought belief, by, by, by making something up mm -hmm. and then responding to it as if it's real. Mm -hmm. And once thought loses that power over you, you can think anything. And actually thinking gets friendly again. 
because it's also how we create, right? It's also the power that lets us envision new futures. Mm -hmm. It's also, it, it's like thought's not bad, but a lot of us habitually use it to terrify ourselves. Mm -hmm. I get it. Cool. <laughs> so would you do me a favor? If, if you're okay, and you can face any which way you want. Okay. But I'd like to talk to them for a minute. Okay. But I'd like you to stay up here and just let what we've been talking about settle in a bit. Right. And then in a few minutes, I'm going to just see where you got to with it. Okay. Would that be okay? Yeah. Cool. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> so what, what's, what's kind of settling in a little? What are you, what are you, what's going on? Well, I feel really good. Nice. I'm really glad I came. Good. Um, I, I have a lot to think about when I get home, okay. not to think, overthink things. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So, so what do you mean by, by a lot to think about? Cause I know, I think I know what you mean and I think, but, but just say a few more words about it. Like, stop. okay. So I have another class this Sunday. So I'm not going to be thinking, oh, it's going to be scary. Oh, they're not going to like it. I'm going to be thinking, oh, this is going to be, you know, fun. And we're going to finish up our project. And they're going to be so happy. And they're going to love me. And it's going to be fun. Like that. Well, and, and you okay to stay, take one more step? Sure. Maybe. Like you might think that. Or you might think, oh, my God, I got lucky last time. <laughs> no. Oh, fuck. No, right? I don't want to think that way. But, but it doesn't matter. Like that's the possibility. Yeah, that's true. That even if some shitty thinking comes in, mm -hmm. it doesn't really throw you off that much. If you notice that it's shitty thinking, mm -hmm. like it's only when you start taking it seriously and thinking it's a newsreel, like oh, oh, it's going to be terrible. Oh shit! Mm -hmm. Right. The the freedom comes in it not mattering what thoughts come to mind because we don't choose what thoughts come to mind. Right? We get the weirdest thoughts at the weirdest times. That's true. So if, you, if, if, if your strategy, one strategy in life is to try to only think things that are supportive and positive, they're going to lose because that's not how thought works. Mm -hmm. It's a lot more random than that. Mm -hmm. But if you know that however it appears, it's thought. It's TV news. It's, mm -hmm. it's the television in the corner of the bar. Then you don't have to worry about it. That feels nice. Right? Yeah, it does. Yeah. Yeah, I'm not going to worry. What's that? I'm not going to worry. I think that's a great plan. <laughs> yeah. Anything else you want to ask me while you got me? I don't know what to ask you. You don't have to. No, it's, it's just a question. No, I don't know. Okay. Thank you. But thank you for bringing me out. You're welcome. <laughs> Thank you. Okay. Thank you.